All right, let me kind of go through a few um, functions here really quickly. Okay. If you have a function f of x and it's equal to some constant, okay, in this particular case, what is the graph going to look like? Any ideas? So let's say let's say the c value was three. F of x equals three. What's that graph gonna be? It's gonna look like. Nick. Now, so remember the the vertical is means what never changes. Okay. So but if it's a function, that means no matter what you plug in for x, what's never gonna change. Right, the y value, right, the, the output. Okay, so when you're looking at something in this form, it's just a horizontal line. Okay. Next, if you move to the next level. Now, a constant is what degree polynomial function? So now that's as far as the... Um, it will be a monomial, meaning number of terms. But if I ask you for the degree of a constant, you guys remember degree means the power of x. So the degree of a constant function is going to be what? Zero. There's no x, or the, the x has a power of zero. And when I move to the next type of function, What's the name given to a function where the degree is 1? What was the form ax plus b? A what? Okay, well, again, it, as far as number of terms, the most it could be is a binomial, but it could also be a monomial, right? f of x could equal 3x. And what would this be called? Uh, if we did regression and the regression equation gave you this form, ax plus b, and then it told you what a was and what b was. What kind of regression did we do? We've only worked on two different kinds of functions or regression. And let me write an, a number or a name down and see if this is familiar. Linear, you heard that expression before? A linear function means the highest power or the degree is one. And what is a linear function going to look like? It's a straight line. And again, in this case, it can go straight up and to the right, down and to the left, or it can go up and to the left, down and to the right. And so here is what your linear function looks like. Okay, next, if we take... Say ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, first of all, what is the degree of this function? Now it's a 2. The highest power of x is a 2. Okay, what kind of a, a function are we dealing with here? Now it's a quadratic. Good. Okay, and a quadratic is going to look like what? It's a parabola, so it's either going to open up or it's going to open down. Okay, so it's one of those. There's no other options for it. Okay, what if we take something... So now this is everything that we've talked about up to now, right? We, we just finished the last chapter with quadratic functions. And, and in this chapter, we're moving on to some higher degree polynomials meaning you might have something like this. Okay, so what is the degree of this polynomial? Now the highest power is 3. Does anybody know what name is given to this? Okay, when the power is 3, this is referred to as a cubic function. And a cubic function is going to look like the following. It's going to kind of S its way 
down into the left, up into the right, or it's going to, again, kind of snake its way up into the left, down into the right. And let's go through um, one more here. What if we take power, highest power of four? Again, here we're dealing with a degree of four. And if we're looking at the name of this, this is called a quartic. That's as far as you'll need to know, be able to identify based on the powers. Okay, and the graph of a quartic equation is going to look like this. Now again, it might not be symmetric, okay, but this is what the graph is going to look like. It's possible it has only one curve. It could also appear like this or like this. Okay, but it's going to be